Station that holds the powerful accountable. Cashless tolls on Grand Island have been in effect for a few months now, and a lot of drivers tell us they've run into a number of problems. For some, it's led to hundreds of dollars in bills and fines. So, what's the Thruway Authority doing to clear all of this up? Two on your sides, Ron Plant sought answers. Just like traffic flowing over the Grand Island bridges, comments flowing on our Facebook page after we asked if people were having problems with bills for the New York State Thruway since cashless tolling went into effect on those bridges. Like Tiffany Perry and her parents up in Niagara Falls, notice they got hit with a $131 bill on their shared account. Even though they are regular Easy Pass customers, she does not have it linked to a credit card. Tiffany commutes over the bridges to her job, but was told at a toll in Chautauqua County there were no funds in her account. She's paid the bill since, but somewhat frustrated. This is the first time we've ever had a problem. We normally get the notification if our accounts are low, and then we go on and make a payment. And that's why you were surprised in this case. Then. Yeah, You didn't exactly. get any notification. Right. No, we usually get an email. There were no emails. And obviously with the cashless tolls, there's no, um, there's no message telling you that Correct. your account is low. So I had no idea. A spokesperson for the New York State Thruway Authority would not do a recorded interview, but he did tell me that if people call the Thruway Authority directly, they're willing to talk about their account. There's no guarantee that they're going to waive those charges or fees, but they'll discuss it. And he says, yeah, they're getting a lot of calls. Of course, one condition to waive any fees for a customer to sign up for an Easy Pass account. A deal breaker for some folks like Mike Majinski of East Aurora says he got a late bill notification with $100 in fees and now has to send the Thruway administration a letter certifying his car's weight class and registration, even though he says they admitted when he called them that there was a problem with the sensor unit for his vehicle. And again, they want him to sign up for Easy Pass. Now with this, it seems like they're putting up sensors that aren't doing the appropriate job and then they're trying to extort people into getting on a program. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. In response to all of these complaints, State Senator Tim Kennedy called on the Thruway Authority to start an amnesty program where drivers are forgiven late fees and other charges for the next six months. In a statement, the Thruway Authority says customers have nearly 100 days to pay their toll bills before violation fees are assessed.